Good afternoon. This is Nate Reason with John Lancaster Toyota in Madison, Wisconsin. I've got a first look at the 2013 Toyota RAV4. Very excited about this truck. It's uh, completely redesigned compared to the 2012. Big news, the V6 engine's gone. The 2.5 remains, but a great new 6-speed automatic transmission uh, included with this truck. I did a quick drive. Um, impressed with the smoothness of the ride. It's a very quiet interior. Um, quite a bit upscale compared to where we were with the 2012 model. Hold on to your seat. I'm going to shoot the 2012. There it is there. Yes, sir. We'll take that. Um, some, some big changes other than the engine and uh, six-speed automatic. We now have a traditional lift gate for the back. Um, I think that'll. I think a lot of people appreciate that. Some folks expressed uh, some concern to, with a swinging door in the old days. Eh, didn't bother me so much, but this new way is pretty cool. So this is the XLE in magnetic gray, black cloth interior, standard options or standard features only. But a couple things to point out um, on the bottom: all new, kind of a black plastic on the bottom, so this thing won't get scratched. But I think on a lighter color. It's going to look really cool having that two-tone body. Looks like it's wearing 17-inch aluminum wheels. Some nice changes. Bigger fog lights. Great big fog lights. Projector halogen headlights, which are basically a normal halogen, but we put glass on it to focus the light beam. Nice changes. Amber lights there. There's some LEDs maybe I didn't pick up. I'm not sure what those are right there. Maybe those are my running lights. I don't know really to say. A couple other things, uh, like the Sport and Limited hat for 2012, turn signals on the mirrors because they look cool, but also, if you can see these, they put some more of those vortex generators here on the mirror, and I suspect I'll find those on the back, and I might find them on the front as well. We do that to change the wind flow over the car to reduce wind noise and add stability, believe it or not. And there they are on the back. But let's get to the, let's get to the important stuff, the lift gate. Strong struts, pop the thing open. I just grabbed the handle and gave it a little push, and up it went. In the back, retain a lot of cargo space. Happy to see that. Cargo cover is still present, but we can make it go away. And I'll show you the cargo space in this RAV. Looks like a nice low bumper here in the back, so it's not going to be tough to load stuff up. If I'm leaning against it, my knees just above my kneecaps here, in terms of the height. Look at all that glorious cargo space. It looks wonderful. We now keep a spare tire underneath the floor. Small amounts of storage on either side. And uh, area to stow your cargo cover. Uh, I'm going to pop the seats up in the second row. They went with a nice design in terms of how the seats work in the second row. So I don't need to take the headrest off. The headrest will fold flat and get out of the way. I still have reclining seats like I had in 2012. I think they did a little nicer job in the sense that they gave us a handle there to recline the seats compared to having it up top like it was in 12. So here the headrests work when you want to lay the seats down. Inboard there's a button that'll flop the headrest down and then I can just grab this handle and lay these things down flat. Pretty nice. So I have a ton of rear leg room. Hard to see in this picture I know but there's still a lot of room there. So if I'm sitting here, so you can get a feel for that. There's still quite a bit of space there. And looking forward, I left everything turned on so you could get a good feel for how this is set up. Um, tough to see, but instead of doing plastic, like just a one color plastic, they did a nice carbon fiber look for the trim and this is the XLE. So it's on the door handles. It's here in the center stack. And we've got this nice light blue illumination that's covering everything. Cup holder, cup holder. Eco and sport modes. USB port for iPod, iPhone, 12 volt power outlet. The steering wheel is also illuminated blue when the headlights are on. So you've got your radio controls for volume, presets, and control the stereo mode and now your phone controls are there. The uh, dashboard lights up a nice blue as well. And then temperature gauge is there, fuel economy information, and those things are scrolled through with a display button here. 
and you'll see that data show up there in the LCD. So we're going to have trip A and trip B, outside temperature gauge, engine temperature shown there. Radio's display audio, standard, with a really, really nice backup camera. Um, full 6 inch backup camera and it gives us the grids for when we're backing up. So the grids would be um, the blue lines and the red lines so it kind of aims the RAV4 when you're backing it up. Nice, nice, nice setup. Um, XLEs have dual zone climate control which previously was limited only. So there's a driver in a passenger zone and then it controls the fan speed and the vents on its own. You can run it manually but that's how it works. And then the XLE comes standard with a moonroof. So of course this guy's got a Power tilt inside motor, standard, but nice looking cabin. So I'm just going to pop out and give you one more look at the exterior of this machine. What do you think? We can get a good look at that sticker. Fuel economy went to 25 overall, 22 in town, 29 on the highway. And uh, that's starting with that 2.5 with the 6 speed, and this is a four wheel drive model. 26,760 MSRP on the XLE with all wheel drive. Um, and a quick note of that four wheel drive so that's the, uh, forgive me, I get the term wrong, but it's now um, torque management system. So we're going to put um, power to the front wheels primarily, we'll slide power to the back when you go around corners fast, when you spin the tires. So the car is going to put the torque to the wheels essentially that need it. There is a lock button, and this is really handy on a RAV4. I mean, this is not, this isn't like a full runner, it's an off road machine, but you always have a button to lock the four wheel drive. So, if you're going to do some light duty off roading, or if you're plowed in and there's six feet of snow that you've got to cross to get out of your driveway, being able to lock that differential and have a 50 50 split between the front and rear axles is really, really handy. It's been a RAV4 since the last generation, and it's been a great feature. So, let's quick look at the 13 RAV4 XLE. My email address and phone number in the bottom. If you have a question or a comment, drop it in. Nate Reason, John Lancaster Toda. Make it a great day.